Hey, I'm the Grow Boss, and in this series of videos, we're going over the number one problem that growers that come to my hydro store have, especially the new growers, and that's cloning. And so far, we've gone over preparing your plant, preparing your Clonex root riot starter plugs, how to take a clone, dip it in Clonex rooting gel, and get it into the starter plug. So now, you wet the starters down, you've got your dome on here, you've got your humidity dome with your two foot T5, and now it's a few days later, maybe even almost a week. What are you going to do? Now we have to water and feed. How do, when do we water? How much, when do you feed? What, what? There's so many questions. So let's just break it down, right? The clones are in there. It's been a few days. The Root Riot starter plugs have dried out. Not all the way, most of the way, right? And so if you're doing your first watering, you're just going to water straight water. Usually I tell you guys, water during the week feed on the weekend because for the first couple of weeks as the clones are rooting the root riot starter plugs are going to evaporate they're going to dry out a little quicker once the clone is fully saturated with roots then the root riot starter plugs will last a couple of days longer because the roots hold in the moisture so if, if it's the first time you're watering if it's the first time they've dried out just hit them with a little bit of water the next time they dry out, like on the weekend, you're going to take three mils of Clonex solution, just like we did last time, put it right in the water jug, right? Just pull up three mils in your pipette, put it right there into the water jug. But that's week one. After 10 days or so, your cuttings are going to have rooted. And once they've started rooting, you might want to do a little more than just the Clonex solution you may want to add a little bit of microbes because root maximizer microbes they actually live on the roots they protect the roots and increase the plant growth so you'll just take a little bit of microbes boom put them right in the water bottle just like that clonex root maximizer microbes clonex solution a little bit of food a little bit of microbes to protect the roots and then you just water your Root Riot starters with a combination of Clonex solution and Root Maximizer. That's more. That's everything, everything your cuttings and seeds need to get off to a healthy start. Now, once those cuttings got, have some roots and they start growing, you may find that you want to hit them up with a little bit more Clonex mist, right? They need a little pet me up. They might get a little bit yellow. They're starting to get roots. They're starting to grow. Lift up the lid and instead of spraying some water inside the dome, hit your cuttings up with a little bit of Clonex mist. That'll really get them off to a healthy start. And as they get bigger, you may find that you have to water a little bit more or a little bit more frequently, but there's no nutrients in Clonex root maximizer microbes, so you don't have to worry about overfeeding your starts. Three mils Clonex solution in the water bottle. And then just water every other time feed every time in between. You can use the whole water bottle. Don't worry about flooding the sponges, the Root Riot starter plugs, because they're specifically designed to hold the correct oxygen to water ratio. If there's any excess water in the tray, just go ahead and pour that out. Put your lid back on it and just wait until they get too big for the space. Your cuttings, seedlings, clones, they will grow out of this space over the next four weeks, they will get too big for the light and you will have those explosive roots that you're looking for with big, healthy cuttings. The kind where when you go to a hydro store, you can say, I got 99% success rate too. The kind of cuttings that won't get infected with bugs. You will never have to worry about going out and getting clones from someone else again. Six shitty clones with bugs on them. Fuck that. Clonex products has everything you need to start a clone or a seed. Super healthy clones with that explosive root growth because when you're growing indoors, you're gonna need that explosive root growth. It's not like growing outside. Things happen bigger and faster indoors and so you've gotta have the right products in your lineup to get your clones and seeds started. And if you have any questions, I'm the Grow Boss. You can pick up a copy of my book which has information about Clonex in it at thegrowboss.com. You can find it on eBay, Amazon too. The Grow Book and Equipment Guide. I'm The Grow Boss. Thanks for watching this series of videos. 
about cloning with Clonex products.